like, yeah, one, two, three, you can put your hands together, man, and clap for me, it's like, yeah, I said four, five, six, just listen to the kid, man, that's that shit, like, yeah, one, two, three, you can put your hands together, man, and clap for me, it's like, yeah, I said four, five, six, just listen to the kid, man, that's that shit. Sounds sweet. What's up, guys? Give Nasty here. Just did my first mod to my Grom. I scored an MNNT, whatever it is, HBX exhaust on Facebook on the Grom Classifieds page. This guy was selling one. I got it for 250 shipped, which is a steal, really, because they're like 400 new plus shipping. And it sounds nasty. I mean, listen to that. stealth mode with the Grom though after installing this bad boy everybody looks at you which is good and bad good because sometimes in traffic I would have people try to merge into me and stuff well they all definitely hear me coming now and look to see what the heck is making all that noise they think it's like a Harley But it's bad because I can't do as much hooligan stuff, like ride on walking trails and stuff like that. Let me show it to you guys real quick. Install was pretty easy. Uh, you just got a bunch of bolts right here to take off. I think it's one, two, there's one right here where it connects to the down, the mid pipe, the actual muffler and everything. Three, one right here, four, five and six for the header pipes. And uh, yeah, just comes off pretty easily. This bike, I think this pipe weighs like six pounds less than the stock one. And I believe it, that thing is heavy once you get it off the bike. Then to throw this one on, there's just four Allen head bolts that go in right here in the bottom where they have like a custom bracket on there. And then just the two header bolts, you just reuse the header nuts. Done. Uh, I didn't have any instructions or anything. I just kind of eyeballed it and winged it and it took me like 20 minutes. And that was with trying to get the tools I need. Uh, I, think it's, I think they're all 12 mils. So 12 mil, 12 mil, 12 mil, 12 mil. And then those guys, I just used an adjustable crescent wrench for those. So I don't know what size they are, but I didn't have my cordless impact or anything to be able to zip everything off. I did it all just with hand wrench, so no big deal. It's loud. It sounds really good though. It doesn't sound super like crackly or ricey or anything like that. It sounds good, nice and deep. So I'm happy with it so far. Uh, I don't know, I've talked to a bunch of people online about uh, supporting mods when you do a pipe. So I haven't done any air box mods or anything yet, but people have been saying, oh, you need a tuner. You're gonna burn some valves running it with no tuner. But I don't know, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna try it for a while. I mean, a tuner's definitely on the list, but I was gonna do that after I do like an intake and mod the air box and get the thing breathing better on the front side as well as the back side, but I don't know. Definitely sounds pretty dang sweet though.
I should see what time it is, actually. Because I'm hangry. Time to eat.